I know some of you guys are leaving. I guess you are hungry. The lunch will be at 1.30, so I would like you to stay for another very important and nice presentation. <laughs> okay, today I'm gonna uh, talk about the Huawei Ads business uh, and what we are doing in Turkey. So basically, this is how you can drive your business uh, growth in a new platform. Uh, before going into details of the Huawei ads, actually, I want to, sorry, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the Huawei mobile services ecosystem, and then I will talk about how Huawei ads can help you as an advertiser, how we can help you as a publisher, and then I will give you some case studies, and then I will uh, take your questions. So, basically, there was this quote uh, when we say, the, the secret to change is to focus all your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. So this is what we focus as Huawei. We, instead of fighting uh, with the old system, we are building a new system and we are inviting all of you guys to adapt to this system with us. Uh, when you look at the Huawei mobile services, uh, we started to build it in around almost three years ago. And then in three years, we came a long way. Today, when you look at globally, we have around 730 million active users. And then this Huawei mobile services ecosystem is uh, including not only Huawei app gallery, which I will go into details later, also that we have the game center, cloud, member center, browser, and all of them uh, have many users. When you look at the system, ecosystem, we are the third largest mobile ecosystem in the world now. This is why Huawei is a game changer here. When we, uh, when we announced App Gallery, we didn't have anything in it. And then in only three years, we have 5 million registered developers and then uh, 580 million global users in the App Gallery. As you can see, there's a huge growth, year-on-year -year growth. And then it, this is 2021 data. Right now, the data is even more than that. And when you look at the details, as you can see, for example, just for the browser, we have almost 400 million users. and. 10 million, more than 10 million of them are in Europe. So basically we are in almost every country and in Turkey we also have a lot of users which I will go into detail. So except the Huawei ecosystem, what we did here in Turkey is uh, when we announced App Gallery, we onboarded the mobile applications and then we opened the revenue streams for them. So basically uh, they, the, they were the publishers so they could monetize their apps with high fill rates, high revenue and the quality content. And then we also, uh, first advertiser was us ourselves to uh, make the publishers earn money. After we onboard them, then when we have enough publishers, we started to onboard advertisers. And right now in Turkey, we are working with almost every big advertiser. And for them, it's really easy to be onboarded in the platform. It's a self-service platform uh, with, as I said, 300,000 uh, users. And we have like partners and we have like uh, 3 billion daily ad requests. So first, I want to talk about the advertiser part. So what's Huawei Ads ecosystem? And in an overview, basically, it's a mobile advertising platform based on real-time bidding. As you all know, uh, you can bid on the ads, and then you can, if you are uh, winning the bidding, then your ads is placed. I will talk details about where it will be placed. Uh, we have our own DMP. With that data management platform we have, we can give you the best targeting possible, and our s data storages are located all over the Europe, and then for that reason, we are GDPR compliant, and then we don't have any problem with the uh, data security. Uh, we have different types of campaigns for either website or mobile applications. When you look at the details, there you can bid with CPM, CPC, CPI, CPA, all these slots, even with the e-commerce firms we are working with cost per sales. There are different ad types like images, video, text, or app icon. And when you look at the cost of the advertising, it is around 50% lower than the market. Why? Because uh, we are a new platform, there is less competition, so you can get uh, more placement with lower bidding. And we have multiple sources of traffic, which I will go into details, uh, which is where you can show your ads. It's App Gallery, Huawei Home Media, and third party SSP. As you can see here, the first thing is the third po in third party, as I said, we onboarded the publishers first, the games and the apps, and then in their applications, we give you in-app display solution. In addition to that, we have our own app gallery, the third biggest market, app market. Here, you can uh, place your ads. And then lastly, uh, there is a search network we have. 
Huawei has its own third engine, which is called Petal Search. And with Petal Search, you can give uh, ads like the like what you were doing in Google Ads before. You can do in Petal Search now. It's very similar. Uh, and the thing is, because the market is not saturated here, even for the very generic keywords, you can have lower cost. So when you go into details, as, as you can see in the third-party applications, you can use all the format like splash banner, rewarded, and etc. And then the bidding models are all available. Also, as I said, we have the data management platform, our own DMP. With that DMP, you, you don't only target with the basic attributions like location or demography or age, but instead of that, you can look at the app behavior. So how people are behaving, if they are playing uh, hyper-casual games or if they are uh, spending their time in e-commerce applications. So whatever is your target group, you can easily target them and you can choose where you're at, in which app it will be located. Then we have the Huawei App Gallery. As you can see here, first of all, we have the OOB out-of-the-box experience, which, which is when somebody buys a new device, new Huawei device, your application or game can be coming like this, press selected, and then when people click next, then it will be downloaded to their uh, mobile phones. It will, it's a very good way to increase your downloads. Also with the recommended apps, it's very similar. This is not for the first time opening, but this is for after you start using the phone, you have some clusters in the phone. And then uh, we can feature your game uh, in App Search, Cluster, or App Advisor. And lastly, the uh, search network. So as I said, when, when I say pet Petal Search, actually this is uh, an application that you can use. It's also, we have a browser, and in this browser it is the search network. But on top of that, in the Huawei mobile phones, in, uh, if you can see here like in the voice search or image search, like wherever there is a search in your mobile phone, we are using Petal Search and you can do ad placements there. So when the customer is looking for something, you can be in front of them. This is very important. And here also there are text, ads, uh, small image, large image, all the different types you can use. Uh, we also have shopping channel now. We will have nearby channel in the near future. Uh, and this is what we are doing in Turkey. The picture I uh, draw you was in general. Now when we look at the Turkey market, we already have more than 300 registered direct advertisers. And we have also 60 plus registered agency. And then we also have the publishers, as I told you before, the local publishers, around 250 local publishers already integrated Huawei Ads Kit last year. And when you look at the fill rate, it's already more than 90%, we, even though we are having 100 million daily ads requests in Turkey. These partners you see here, like this game, they already integrated Huawei Ads, they are uh, earning the money from it. By the way, the platform works with uh, dollar and euro, foreign currency, we don't have Turkish that are supporting at the moment. For that reason, uh, if you look at the publisher side, they are earning in terms of foreign currency, and this is why the, they are very happy about it. In terms of the advertiser part, when you look at it, uh, as you see, Admos, for example, is a mediator, and then they integrate our ad skit solution. So when you are working as a publisher with Admos, you automatically integrate Huawei ad skit because you can uh, get benefit from that too. So when you look at the uh, publisher side, as I said, there is a high return here, high quality advertising and a comprehensive service support. We are here in Turkey, we have an ads team, uh, we have the business development team which are selling ads, on the other hand we have the operation team which are helping you with your campaigns. Also there is the technical team which helps you with all the technical support. So we are supporting from Turkey to whole Europe, this is why we have a very big R&D team here, this is why we can support you whenever needed. As you can see here, there are, uh, I'm not going to go into details of the numbers, there are so many numbers in my presentation, but this is just to show you uh, how many active users and impressions we are using. So when you look at our value, we already, like we know that you, most of you guys are using monetization channels like Wangle, AdMob, Ironsource, and you can just add Huawei as a new channel. We already have integration with all these channels, by the way, when you are using a mediator, you can add our plugin to that and then you can use it. Uh, this is in general, but when you look at the Turkish market, for example, we have 10 million devices right now. And then from this 10 million, almost 2 million devices are HMS phones, Huawei mobile services phones. To reach these HMS users, 
you have to be exclusively in the Huawei ad network. This is why you need to be on the ad network. And also it's for the publishers, the same. You are gonna get revenue from here. When you look at revenue share, it's 70, 30. Uh, when you are integrating, we might have some incentives time to time. Also, if you are a big publisher and if you have a lot of requests, we can uh, talk about the detailed deal. And the good thing is, it's only a two art integration. It's not so big, it's not, it's not gonna take your whole day because we have already integrated many applications. You can easily integrate from Cocos or Unity, it doesn't matter, whichever engine you are using to develop your game, you can easily integrate to Huawei. Uh, and we have already all these technical files in the GitHub and then I'll, we will be giving you some uh, technical guidance, so it will be easy for you. When you look at the global partners, as you can see here, the biggest agencies, biggest brands, they are already all in the Huawei ads and they are uh, enjoying the high fill rate and eCPM level. And lastly, I wanna give you some examples. For example, this is a uh, game we uh, promoted in Europe and then as you can see here, uh, they have 100, more than 150% ROI in a very short time. Uh, in around uh, one year, their revenue increased gradually to 160% and uh, we, we provided them around 62,000 click per day and 8,600 download per day. This is one of the uh, app uh, applications which got a lot of revenue from the monetization because what we do here is for the publishers, when we are, uh, when we onboard the publisher, we also help them to promote their games. We have Huawei own slots and we have paid slots, we have free slots. So there are a lot of campaigns that we are uh, doing for them. So when the app downloads are growing, their revenue is also growing. So very similar thing, uh, when we look at the advertiser side, we were in Germany, we were working with Intel content, they had so many brands and when you look at the impression numbers, uh, their CPC is 0.05, whereas Germany CPC was 0.09. So it's not only Turkey, but globally we are working, uh, helping you in every country. Uh, and this is what we have done so far. Uh, I have been going a little bit fast, uh, so if you have any questions, I can answer now. Also, we have a boot here. When you enter the building, it's the second boot on the left. Uh, I would like to talk to you in person if you have any specific questions. Uh, and now, in general, if you have any questions about the presentation, the product, or anything, I'm happy to help. This one, uh, it, I think it was in, uh, let me see, in C Nordic region, but I'm not sure if it was uh, Poland or, it was one of the Nordic countries. I don't remember that exactly, but it was a Nordic game. Sorry? ECPM? I don't have the number here, but I, I, after the uh, presentation, if you come to the booth, I can check it from my computer and tell you. No problem. Okay, if you don't have any other questions, this is my presentation. Uh, as I said, if you want to join us, please come to the uh, our booth. Also at 3:30, we will be uh, we will have a discussion, a, a panel interview about the uh, third-party platforms for publishers, where sh we should be there. We will have some game partners there with us. Uh, I would also like to invite you there. So thank you so much.